Lebanon's Ministry of Health has confirmed that at least 37 people were killed in an Israeli airstrike on Beirut, which targeted senior members of the Hezbollah terror group. As for the wounded, there are 68 wounded who were transferred to 12 hospitals. 53 of them returned to their homes and 15 wounded are still present in these hospitals, two of them in critical condition. Adding that the number of casualties from the Friday strike was likely to rise with search and rescue operations still ongoing. Among those killed was Hezbollah commander Ibrahim Akil, commander Ahmed Wabi and other senior members of the movement's Radwan Special Forces Unit. According to the U.S. State Department website, Akil had a $7 million bounty on his head placed by the United States because of his connection to the deadly 1983 bombing of Marines in Lebanon. Commanders who we eliminated today had been leading attacks on the citizens of Israel since October 8th and were planning to carry out more at this stage. This marking the second time in less than two months that a leading Hezbollah military commander was targeted by Israel in Beirut. In July, the group's top military chief, Fuad Shukr, was also killed in an Israeli airstrike. Earlier this week, Israel's Minister of Defense, Yoav Gallant, announced that a new phase of war will be launched on the northern border. Our goal is to ensure the safe return of Israel's northern communities to their homes. As time goes by, Hezbollah will pay an increasing price. Meanwhile, the U.S. is trying to negotiate a deal that would see Hezbollah retreat 10 kilometers away from the border, although Washington admits that the surest way to reach such an agreement will be by first reaching a ceasefire in Gaza. We still believe that the best way to prevent escalation, to prevent another front from opening up in Lebanon, is through diplomacy. But after two days of attacks this week, in which Hezbollah members' pagers and walkie-talkies exploded, resulting in 39 fatalities and over 3,000 injured, Friday's strike dealt another blow to the Iran-backed group, sharply escalating the conflict. Following the attack on Beirut's southern suburbs, sirens sounded in Israel's north, with Israeli media reporting heavy rocket fire in the area. Hezbollah claiming to have fired rockets at what it described as the, quote, main intelligence headquarters. Retaliations continued on Saturday, with a wave of Israeli airstrikes hitting southern Lebanon. A spokesperson for the IDF announcing that Israel's air force was currently attacking Hezbollah targets in the area. Since October 8th, Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes on both sides of the Israel-Lebanon border since Hezbollah began firing rockets at Israel, citing support for Gaza. Let them show us how we can help them. We are standing by them, but we want a solution. Our people shouldn't be dying this way. We don't go out or we go out and we denounce. We're going out, we're speaking. But then what? Where are we heading? No one understands anything. What will happen tomorrow? What will happen in an hour? But we see that neither Nasrallah nor Israel will stop. We want a solution. We want to live in a peaceful homeland. With a full-scale war between Israel and the Iranian proxy group drawing closer, it remains to be seen if residents on either side will be able to return home anytime soon.